practice squad isn't just some, you know, untouchable list, right? It's not just some uh, red shirt thing where we're just going to save you till next year. Like, teams have rights. You know what I'm saying? If these dudes aren't on your team, then another team can go, okay, boom. So you mean to tell me if some other team, Isaac Alicorn is starting edge for them, and they look at the film and they go, damn, boy, this – this uh this this fam you kid boy this this Isaiah Land kid boy for the, for the Cowboys ain't no way dog. Will still if these teams look at their third pass rush we got our lads pulled up and I ain't finna fool with it right now but I would love to see who Arizona's third pass who fourth pass yeah. rusher is now we have an embarrassing embarrassing number of pass rushes we like our fourth pass rush is a dude that we value like we're we're like we're talking about Dorrance like. All right, but teams like he has trade value somehow. I, he has to. He has to have trade now. Now, if he if the money thing is a real thing, maybe that that'll thwart it a little bit. But this isn't this isn't a knock to da. Sure, this is more so of protecting your now and, and, and making sure your future is there too. Because that's my whole thing about when I'm moving a guy. Sure, <clears throat> am I affecting my ability to win now? Yes. If I'm able to get a player for da. Mm-hmm. That'll help me say six man type of situation on offensive sure. line. I don't know that you're necessarily affecting that in a negative way. I think that's good. Sure. But if I'm just trading DA for a third or fourth round pick for 2024, yeah. I don't care about that shit, bro. Sure. I don't care. Dorrance Armstrong is a better player than Isaiah Land right now. Um Dante Fowler is a better player than Isaiah Land right now. But boy, somebody called your show and they was like, man, Isaiah Land is like these two people. And I was like, ah. I don't know, but I see like little Randy Gregory stuff in Isaiah Land. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? I just see the and I, and of course that's a, a tad bit of hyperbole, right? He's not because because if he was Randy Gregory's ass would have got drafted like Randy Gregory, he'd have got drafted somewhere. But he has that bendy thing. Does. He has the bendy thing. He has the bursty thing. He has that lengthy thing. Um, pause if needed, but but just, <laughs> if needed, but Isaiah hit the button. Hit, hit, hit some button. Isaiah. Isaiah Land is is not a dude. That some other team can look at and go, hey man, I love to have him. I love to have him, and the dude, and this dude on my team ain't doing nothing with this edge spot. Yeah. They will take Isaiah Land from you, but I don't think they'll take Junior Fajoko from you. So you're, think- you're talking practice squad. I'm talking practice squad because you just can't put Isaiah Land on practice squad, but you can't make, but he can't make your team neither. Well, well, well hold on, because okay. because we're skipping a part here. Okay. Forget practice squad. Okay. Because if he makes the practice squad, you that's actually a little bit of an advantage for you because they have to come to Dallas and say, hey, or, or Isaiah Lynn goes to Dallas, hey, the Giants want to sign me. Oh, really? Hey, uh, DA, your ankle hurt, right? Sure. <laughs> IR. Okay, call sure, okay sure, 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 so, sure. So if they cut land, he has yeah. to go through uh, waivers. Sure, sure. I don't see him making it out of waivers. That's where I'm getting at. Uh, he even that. get the practice squad. Even that, right? He He's just – he's an impressive, young, high upside player. And, you know, when we talk about teams that's roster building, that's how you win, like, long term, right? Yeah. Just an undrafted dude that you can develop. And, we, and we've been talking about this, too. Same thing with John Stevens, right? It's not the right now. Mm-hmm. But, man, Isaiah Land in three years might be crazy. John Stevens in three years might be a guy. And, and, and here's – but here's the thing about Land, though. It ain't – it's not right now, mm-hmm. okay? Right. But if – he were to have to play. It's not like he can't do the one thing they're only going to ask him just to do. Just pass rush. Just go Just run. go get the You ain't kill. even got to stop the run. Right. You ain't got to stop. Just go pass rush. Sure. So, you know, he's a guy that you might – I mean, I don't know. It's early. But if you don't carry him on a 53 – I'm sorry, on a 46, mm-hmm. if you have to, mm-hmm. you are I don't think you get you get worse from a pass rushing standpoint because he can – he has those type of traits to affect the quarterback, affect the pocket. Mm-hmm. Where you may get worse at, maybe you get worse in the run game. Yeah. Right, maybe it get worse if he has to play twenty five snaps as opposed to seven. Mm-hmm. You know, but but if you say, "Hey, Land, I need you to go out there for seven snaps and five of them," you just pinning your ears back because D A or Dante and all these guys are hurt. Right, yeah. Man, I think he can do that. So it'll be Isaiah Land versus Jabril Cox. Isaiah Land versus if you're Jalen tra- Brooks. If you're trying to get if you're trying to get D A and Land on the field, I mean on the, on the team, and that's D A is an important piece in this. Yes. DA is an important piece in this because, and man, I hope DA not watching this, bro, because I would love to get the interview. Uh, yo, DA, this ain't just just cut off the just cut the stream off. Only DA, everybody else, we need y'all to keep watching. Hold on, I'm gonna mute the microphone real quick. <laughs> Will still, DA not nice enough to be missing preseason like that. I mean, he's that, not. That's real. He's not. Um, I mean, Osa will come out and like get a series or something. If Osa can get a series and come off. 
D.A. can get a series and come off. Like, Micah and D-Law, it makes sense to me. Van Der Esch ain't playing because he hurt guy. He's veteran guy. That, Hank that is older. There's no need for that, yeah. I don't need to see Zach Martin and, like, Tyron to play, right? But Doris Armstrong, why are you not playing? Honestly, and I ain't really been hearing nothing from Doris. That you would think that they bubble nothing, wrapping Doris. I haven't heard a thing from I've heard more Fail. from Bo Hanna. Fail. That is that is that is very interesting. You don't even hear or see. Forget hearing. You don't sure. even see it. I mean, I, I've I've seen Dante Fowler make plays. Yeah, I've seen boy D Law beating the shot. And we and you know Mike is having a loud camp right now. I haven't seen anything from Doris. And you would think that they bubble wrapping Doris, but if we roll out in Week One versus the Giants and Sam Williams out there, I need answers. I need to hear from somebody. If it's Sam Williams, D Law, and Mike is just roaming somewhere, I need answers. Because at that point, there has to be a dispute going on. There has to be some nonsense happening. Uh, and, and I hope Dorrance, Dorrance don't want more money because I think Dorrance making more money. I ain't going to count his pockets like that, bro. But I mean, you better get this little 38. Go, go, <laughs> this no, little he he making some money. He, he makes, makes some money for what he is, in my opinion. But about, about five, six million, something like that? Roughly, yeah. I don't think he got like a $13.5 million contract oh, uh, last year. So I don't know how much was guaranteed. But he, he made a little bit of money. So maybe he's looking to get security. And yeah. Dallas is like, there is absolutely no way I'm extending you, knowing I got Sam Williams and now potentially an Isaiah Land. Uh, <laughs> Professor O dropped this, and, and I wanted to bring this up because I am not a fan of this right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, he says, interesting, per Todd Archer, Stephen Jones said the Cowboys have safeties who can play linebacker and mentioned Wanye Thomas. I do not I like this. And let me tell you why, man. In a pinch, mm-hmm. in, in a package, a package in a I'm the overhang guy, I'm the big nickel guy, whatever. D- DQ been doing that for a long time. Quarters. Yeah. Linebacker things, it's down good. in, down out. There, and I'm, I'm including J. Ron, bro. Mm-hmm. There's not a safety on that team that you linebacker. want to stick in the middle of the field and say, you direct guys, you put them here, you put them there, you deal with these centers and guards, down in, down out. Yeah. I do not like this if that's the plan. Mm-hmm. I think they need to either – See if they got, you know, if they count on Jabril Cox, Devin Harper to be your linebackers yeah. or go out and get a linebacker. But thinking that of Wyatt Thomas, by the way, mm-hmm. who has done f- good things. And that's a weird name to bring up because he's a free why, safety. Why, yeah, yeah. Like, why, why <laughs> That's him? a weird name. Why is a free. And, and, and you saw it in, in the two preseason games where he can get caught, yeah. you know, in, in the run game b- because he's not adapt, in my opinion, to being down there. Sure. So I don't like this, Vosh. I don't know how you feel about it. Turpin can play linebacker too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> just, put, just put anybody anywhere, huh? Just Juan A. Thomas. Point. That's kind of wild. Uh, I mean, unless you really got faith in your uh, in your, your D-line to keep those guys safe, I mean, maybe, but I, I, that's not a thing. What what Van Der Esch does is totally different um, than what you can ask um, Juan A. to do. I hate it. Um, you know, like 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 you were saying, yeah, there are packages where like J. Ron looks linebackery, but that's different than being a linebacker. You know, yes. Donovan is the most linebackery safety on the team, and I don't think Donovan and Wanye are like close no. in in terms of like you know being able to to do those things. So, um, it's strange that Steven would say that. It's strange that 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 he would say that just you know loudly, um, Maybe publicly like that. Is he showing us, telling us to look over here, and he's going to do something else? I think Harper. While, while we looking here, I think I think if Harper needed to play, he'll play. I think it's Harper. Um, and after that, I don't know what Malik uh, Jefferson's ham, ham, hamstring is like. I don't he's, know. Apparently, he's not ready. So Jabril I Cox, are. that they've been trying to, they, they've been trying to cut Brillo for years. They they just keep not doing nothing with him. They just keep. I mean, he's, he's had a solid preseason. I, I, a solid is not enough though for me to be like, no, no, no. hey, I don't need to bring. Nobody I trust in. you now. I trust you know, Brillo. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not. I'm not there yet. I'm yeah. not. I'm not there yet with any of these guys. You know, they, mm-hmm. they, they, they. Again, Harper and Jabril have had solid preseasons, but you're talking about LVE sure. who gets dinged up. Yeah, how many years? Been like five, five or six. six so four out of five years, LVE has missed time. Yeah, something like that, right? Yeah, uh, or, or been dinged up, what have you? Mm-hmm. Listen, I, I love Demone Clark. I think he's going to be fantastic, but that's still just. One guy, and he, he he doesn't have the crazy experience too. So what if he gets dinged up? Yeah, we good with Brillo and Devin Harper for five games or three games playoffs? I, I don't know. Not right now. Not in what's today? August twenty second. Yeah, I ain't. My only yeah. logic is that boy. This D line got to be going so crazy. They got to be going so crazy. And, and, and this Overshone thing hurts, bro. Yeah, this yeah. Overshone thing hurts. KDB.